want to lose weight, reduce stress, improve your cholesterol, or maybe even stop smoking, telephonic health counseling is becoming a popular new employee benefit. Registered dietitian Robert Picard from GemCare Wellness says many employers are using this as a tool to keep a healthy workforce. And he joins us with more on the subject. Welcome to the program, Robert. Uh, thank you very Robert. much, Karen. Thanks for having me. So this is a company you work for, provides phone health counseling. Can you tell us a little bit about GemCare? Because I understand they're Absolutely. a local company. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, GemCare Wellness is, is located just down the street in uh, Hudson. Um, we're part of a bigger company. Uh, the Edwards family is, has owned and operated uh, their company for over 25 years. GemCare Wellness is a division of that company that has just started in the last four or five years. I also work at Employee Wellness, and mm -hmm. I do see in the last five or six years, businesses are really focused on doing whatever they can to mm -hmm. keep a healthy workforce. Uh, a lot of times we see on the internet there is health coach, wellness coach. How is your company a little bit different? Absolutely, yeah. Our, we kind of distinguish ourselves because we hire registered dietitians. It's a value that the, the company identified when we first started, is that to provide you know professional quality counseling to our members. Um, so yeah, just like you stated, you can have a health coaching certificate that you can, anyone can go on to these different sites and, and businesses that kind of provide these you know, certificates accredited through their website. And those can last from three weeks, couple months, six months, uh, pass an exam and you're accredited health coach through that platform. Uh, being a registered dietitian is takes a little more education and a little more background, a little more uh, substance to that degree. So registered dietitians have a four year bachelor's in science degree, nutrition and dietetics. We work through the um, governing body, the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics where we're expected to keep our credentials up over the course of a five year uh, period. Uh, and you know, the dietitian is, is trained through undergrad accredited internships to kind of bring together uh, counseling from a counseling side, working with folks one on one, and then also a clinical side where we have the, na the, the base knowledge of you know, medical uh, nutrition and working with doctors working in various settings that can really prepare us to talk one on one with a, with a member or a client. So a lot more education behind Absolutely. the health counseling yeah. versus the health coaching. No question. Um, can you describe your typical client? Who is, is reaching out to you? Who needs the help? Yeah, absolutely. So the uh, our main client base is based on uh, employers or insurance companies or third-party administrators that are working with their population within their business or their, their insurance platform. Uh, these companies have identified health counseling as a great outlet to show to their employees that there are opportunities to improve your health by talking to registered dietitians, uh, building that relationship with us through our company. Uh, we get to meet our folks uh, kind of where they're at on the health spectrum and, and really educate them. And then kind of the trickle up effect is uh, they're, you know, through these incentive based programs uh, with their employer or insurance group that really keeps them on track. Uh, we, we find that if there's an incentive to not only become healthier, but also an incentive in, from a monetary value. Yeah, right, a right. discount there, on there's your a insurance. Little more, there's a little more, uh, a little more value to, to that individual we're speaking with. But mm -hmm. So walk me through a call, because this is relatively new, mm -hmm. and probably a lot of our viewers have never done this type of phone count counseling. Right. What would a, a call look like? Absolutely, yeah, so the, the, what I alluded to earlier is like that counseling aspect. We like to know our members or know our clients. So those first call may be just a get to know you call. We wanna establish a good platform. We can get to know our folks. Uh, for all intents and purposes, we're strangers calling yeah. another stranger on the phone and they may not be open up right away to you know telling us their weight, telling about a typical day, telling about their lifestyle. So we really invest some time in our, our members and our clients to really get to know them a little bit. Um, we always establish uh, short and long-term goals with all of our members and clients keep them on track. Uh, we really believe in kind of personalizing our approach. That's where the counseling aspects of our degrees come in, then also make it real life to that person, to, to what, we're, what we're recommending to them fits their lifestyle and it's actually pertinent to them. So what is the most challenging population you'd say you'd work with? Mm -hmm. The most challenging population is kind of that, that aging population. You know, a couple years before retirement, uh, folks in their 50s, 60s, early 70s. Uh, those folks are the folks that you know have some weight to lose, or, or you know, starting to develop some hypertension or high blood pressures, or their glucose and their blood sugar readings are getting a little high. Um, so that's a, that's a difficult population to speak with. You know, their metabolisms are, are slowing down, yeah. and they have a couple extra pounds to lose potentially. And you know, they they're stuck in their routines, and they're stuck in the way that they prepare food. Um, so it's a challenge, uh, but that's also getting to know them, getting to know what's pertinent to them. 
Uh, so a lot of folks are right around retirement. They have a lot of celebrations. They have a lot of uh, groups they're a part of, and food seems to be oh, focused yeah. in those in those groups. So um, you know, encouraging different things, encouraging shakeups. Uh, that's kind of what we focus on with the, with those uh, more challenging clients that we do see. You want to eat more, but the metabolism has slowed down. No you want question. to drink more wine after yeah, age 50, yep, right? You're right. You're right. <laughs> and you got to yep. account for those calories or somewhere. They've, or they've prepared dishes a certain way for the last, you know, 30 years, family recipes yeah. of, of cooking with, you know, uh, with high fat, uh, high sugar foods, and just working with them, on, like I said, on an individual basis to, to make sure that what we're what we're providing the service for them is pertinent and personal to them. Everyone has a different lifestyle. Yeah. Everyone has a different uh, traditions around their house. Uh, a lot of folks have a lot of birthdays and picnics that they go to, and we like to just to get to know them and, and see what we can best provide for them. Now, I know when we talked earlier, I was surprised by this, that you have a lot of truckers and people who travel. Mm -hmm. How mm -hmm. would you help a trucker? Because they're trapped in a car, all, they're trapped in a truck all day, that's, driving. That's what, right. How do you help and, someone? And those are the employees that are kind of reach out to us. They, they kind of see their, their truck drivers or businessmen or salesmen that are, or, or women that are on the road, you know, five days a week. Uh, it's, it's another challenge of, of, of the folks we talk to. Uh, truck drivers um, and businessmen, they have their routines. A lot of them, we find out that they're driving the same routes. So we encourage them to, before you hit the road, is to have a plan. Get some stuff that you can grab that's healthy for you, as opposed to being so hungry when you get to that stop that you're overindulging and you're, you're eating a lot more calories than you traditionally would. Plus the lack of exercises, those can add up to a little weight gain and kind of a sedimentary lifestyle. Um, so we encourage them to take advantage of those stops. Uh, they, you know, we all have to stop for, for numerous reasons. Take advantage of those 20 minutes, right? Is it uh, carrying resistant bands in, in your cab or your truck? Is it little little dumbbells that we can do a little a little workout on the side of our truck before we get back in? Is it stretching, specific stretching that these folks can do to get that circulation going and kind of get their heart rate up a little bit? And a lot of those travel plazas have big pieces of property. Going for a 15 minute walk yeah. around the perimeter of those uh, of course, watching traffic and all that, but uh, that's the things that we really encourage is when you are able to, to sit back and think about it, um, there are some opportunities to, to make those little changes already in their busy schedule. I think a big challenge would be wanting to eat in the car. Mm -hmm. if you're driving for four or five hours mm -hmm. to, like, how can you distract yourself? Right, absolutely. That's where all the little candies and all the little, yes. the, all the little goodies that come on, subconsciously eating here and there, but if we're replacing those kind of with more, celery, <laughs> you're right, whatever they choose to. That's what we really encourage is when we are reaching subconsciously or consciously to pass the time is what are we reaching for? Reaching, reaching for some of the chips and the cookies and the brownies or reaching for a good trail mix or, you know, a piece of fruit or vegetables. I mean, that, that can really make a difference day after day after day. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I found that at my workplace, uh, we were offered health coaching in order to get a discount on our insurance. So I tried it out and I felt the accountability part really even though mm -hmm. i'm just talking to someone on a phone mm -hmm. really helped a lot There's and no I, especially in that situation of truck driving if you know hey my health coach mm -hmm. is calling me i can't be snacking in the cab mm -hmm. that's and that's one of the platforms that we have at jam care wellness is with all of our clients and members we, we reach those folks by phone at the very least once a month we want to build, have that built-in account, uh, accountability like you mentioned we want to keep these folks on track you know we don't want to go two or three months without talking to our members because that's when the bad habits start to form again. Yeah. So uh, it's it's double-sided. We want to, you know, we can talk to folks multiple times, a, multiple times a month, but at the very least, we're going to talk to our folks at least once a month and make sure they're staying on track, make sure those short-term goals are still in place and encourage them along the way. That's more than half our job is, is really encouraging the good things that they're doing and encouraging those to keep going forward and build upon those, those good habits. So you're talking to them over the phone. You never see them in person. Mm -hmm. How do you know that they are actually doing what you say they are? <laughs> take their word for it. We have, you know what? That's part of it. No, that's yeah. part of it. We, we hope that we can build that trust, that there is no reason to fudge the numbers. Yeah. Uh, there's no reasons to show off to your, your health counselor or anything like that. Uh, but for the sake of these in programs, they, they are kind of ran by our, our clients. Yeah. So we have to see some sort of documentation from their physicians yeah. before we can actually kind of move them through our program and things like that. So. The word of mouth takes us so far, but yeah. the, our clients really want to see that substantial uh, changes in, in, on paper of what these what we we're able to uh, accomplish with our uh, with their employees, with our members. So, always touching base with the physicians and making sure that what they're telling they're us is track. actually and, on track. And it's all stages of change. You may mm -hmm. want to lie in the beginning, but then you realize, right. why am I wasting right. my time? Yeah, <laughs> and, you know, we really get to know our folks pretty well. That to the point where uh, sometimes they they do certain activities or they eat certain meals or they 
don't eat certain yeah. meals, uh, just report back to us. You know, that's the only reason. I knew I was going to talk to you next week, so I made sure I went for my three walks. That's a job done by us. Um, obviously, we're not uh, there to, to discipline them or anything like that, but they want to have that encouragement. They want to have someone they can, they can be accountable to, uh, and that's all part of the process. And, you know, I always say anything that helps, do it. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever yeah, you might great. need it, mm -hmm. if it's the, the health coaching, if it's joining a gym or a class, anything that is working, mm -hmm. just do it and stick with it. Right, right. And we don't downplay any changes that are made. Big, small, uh, medium changes, we encourage that. If, if the folks are going out for a 10-minute a, a walk a couple times a week, that's a start. That's something right. that we can build on. That's positive things that we can go to the, to the next goal and build off of. So that's what we encourage. And the hardest part is showing up. Once you get to that 10 minutes, it may turn the into 15 is, to 20. The first step is always the hardest when you, when you go for a, a jog or a walk. Once we get out there, we enjoy the environment and enjoy what we're actually accomplishing. So if anyone watching would like more information, how can they reach you? Uh, the best, like I said, we're, like, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but... You work with insurance companies, right? Right, exactly. So we're not, our current platform isn't set up to um, have, you know, health counseling on an individual basis. Okay. Um, but always contact your employer. Uh, these services may be available already through your wellness program at some in, um, employers. These services, um, but for Gem Care Wellness' sake, if, if your employee or employer is interested in our services, gemcarewellness.com would be a great place to get some more information on us. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me. We'll be right back with more Mind, Body, and Spirit.